Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, Jason Spencer, a.k.a. Crazy J, and you're tuning in to CrazyJ.com's official YouTube channel. What we're going to be talking about today is a question that I get often from a lot of the artists and creators that I consult with, and that question is, do artists still sell CDs, and should I do it? And what I'm going to tell you, being an artist, being a creator, is yes i do believe even in 2022 and beyond you should be selling cds you should be not only selling cds but selling all types of physical product and the reason why i say that is because all right let's just say for instance you've spent uh i don't know three four grand on creating this new album you did the music video you got all the nice you know the nice ladies in there you got all the the nice cars everything that a, that makes a music video look just oh, just great right you have it all in there you, and you invested in it you didn't have any outside investors you spent the money to do this then you also invested in beats thank you very much you invested in mixing and master services thank you very much and you did all of this and now just like any other business you should be looking for a return on your investment right so here lies the problem a lot of times artists spend all of this money and there's two places where they don't spend it they don't spend it on developing products and they don't spend it on marketing so when you're looking at selling a product and we'll just use cds as, as an example you can gauge how much you need to how many cds you need to sell in order to make a return on investment so let me break out the calculator right quick so if let's say for instance you spent thirty five hundred dollars on you know doing your project which is modest it's you know that's and and that's pretty much around about thirty five hundred five thousand dollars on the low end that's what you're going to be spending on doing a project so we'll just say five thousand dollars if you were to sell that project I'm pretty sure you could get $15 per CD. Then all you need to do is sell 333 discs and you've made your return on investment. You've gotten the money that you put in your project. You've gotten that back, right? 333 discs. That's all it takes to get back your initial investment. Now, with that being said, if you put it on streaming platform, you might get it back then again you might not get it back so it's just the luck of the draw depending on on what type of audience you have and what type of marketing you push towards those streaming platforms so that your music can get on playlists that's going to largely depend on whether or not you get your return on investment back so there's a lot of luck involved with that process and that's why I stray away from it. Well, Crazy J, don't nobody don't nobody have a, a CD player anymore, man. Nobody uses CD players. Listen, I want you to be real. I want you to be real about this, right? I, right now, I have a, a vehicle that's a 2016 vehicle, right? That vehicle has a CD player in it. Matter of fact. The majority of the cars that are on the road today in the United States of America, this has been reported. It's been the, the research is out there. You can you look this up. The majority of the cars that are on the road today are over 12 years old. So, you know, you don't have to be a mathematician to say, OK, well, 2022 minus 12. Shoot, that's 2010 every car in 2010 had a cd player so that in itself 
lets you know that there is a market for selling CDs. And not only that, there are a lot of artists, uh, matter of fact, artists that I work with personally, that I make CDs. Uh, one of the items that they sell at shows and online because it's a product. The other thing about selling CDs, well, nobody's gonna wanna do that, Jay. Nobody's gonna wanna buy a CD. I get that there's a population of people that might think that way, but you gotta understand that there are millions of people millions of people in the United States alone that don't have access to high speed internet. So all of these things that we just take for granted, like I can whip out my phone right now and I can play every single Jay-Z album. I can play every single Nas album that I want to play until the, my battery dies. And I don't have to worry about it because I have unlimited internet on this thing. But there are pockets in America that don't have that luxury. They have caps on their internet. As a matter of fact, there are some portions of America that don't even have access to high speed internet, which is a whole nother problem that we're not even gonna get in with what's going on in this country. But anyway, um, you know, that is a second reason why it's very uh, important to look at other medias to sell your music because if you give somebody a disc they can play it and play it and play it they don't have to worry about logging in anywhere they don't have to worry about having an internet connection all they got to worry about is having something to play it on which everybody has it like i don't know why people deny that they have them but you have it you have cd players you have you know cd player in your car it doesn't mean your car is you know tow up from the flow up it just means that you got it that's all um the other thing about uh cds that's really really good is that you're able to build stronger relationships stronger and deeper relationships with the people that you sell to so here's another fact another fun fact that you might not have considered when you look at Spotify, when you look at Tidal, YouTube, SoundCloud, and all these other streaming platforms, it's actually against their their policy. Their, uh, they have privacy policies in place to where you can see that people are streaming the music. You just can't see who. You understand? So, like, if you were to go to Spotify and you've spent all of this marketing budget, $500, $1,000, pushing people to go to Spotify to listen to your music and then you look at your metrics you look at your analytics and you say man a thousand people in my hometown listen to my album I want to know who these people are if you go to Spotify and ask them to give you that data they will not give it to you if you go to Apple and ask them to give you that data they will not give it to you so they know and here's the thing they know how important data is because they use the data that you send to their website they use it as free advertising free marketing so that they can take the traffic that you're sending to them and introduce them to other music so that they can stay on their platforms longer which in turn will help them make more money but then the artist end up getting the short end of the stick because they don't know who's listening to their music whereas with a cd you can put systems in place to where if, if say for instance if you set up a store online you can know who bought the music uh you can know how much they spent on the music you can know what their address everything so if you want to send them a thank you letter you can which i do that often for the people who shop with me who spend a certain amount of money in my beat store i will send them gifts i will send them things to let them know that i appreciate them and i've also incorporated that with a lot of my friends that are in the music industry that weren't doing things like this before that were completely relying on streaming platforms 
to help them cultivate relationships with their fan base where there are other ways that you can do that and i'm telling you cds even vinyl all of these different mediums are ways that you can connect with your with your audience you can build your brand and you can have a product day one that you can track so i just thought that i would i would make a video about that and i'm gonna make more videos about this because artists really do need to know that in 2022 and beyond you should be selling cds this your boy crazy j holla at you later like comment and subscribe hit that bell icon peace Sound like crazy, Jay.